let's start our discussion with the problem statement first. Suppose you are tasked with managing the product development of a new vacuum cleaner called CleanNet. In this role, you are tasked to present vacuum cleaner design ideas, generate relevant product shoot ideas, create a presentation for internal stakeholders and also prepare advertisement ideas to promote the product. You are working on a tight deadline, meaning there is very little room for repetitive iterations on each of these tasks. Now, you have to present four unique design ideas for the vacuum cleaner and incorporate one shape and one color feature in each design from the following list. Cylindrical shape, spherical shape, wood color, pink color. Here, vacuum cleaner will be our subject. These features will add to its description while we can choose the aesthetics that we want as we enter our prompts for the designs. Let us see how image generative AI tools can help us come up with four unique vacuum cleaner designs. To do this, let's head to ClipDrop and from the tools list, let's select Stable Diffusion Excel. For our prompts, we will include two features in each prompt and add description and aesthetic to it. For the first design, let's enter the prompt, a pink cylindrical vacuum cleaner, modern design, hyper-realistic, 4K. Out of the four generated options, download the one that best matches with your vision. For the second design idea, let's enter the prompt, a vacuum cleaner, small spherical shape, wood color, royal finish, realistic, clean design. Go through all the four generated results and download the one that you like the best. For the third design, let's enter the prompt, a pink colored, spherical shaped, vacuum cleaner with a long metallic handle, realistic, high definition, clean edges. Go through the generated results and again download the one that you like the best. For our last and final design, let's enter the prompt a wood-colored vacuum cleaner with a cylindrical shape and printed details, hyper-realistic. Select the design that you like the best and make sure to download it. Out of four generated vacuum cleaner designs, choose the one that you wish to present for your final pitch and make sure to select it very carefully, looking at all your requirements. Once you're happy with your selection, let's head to the next task, which is product photo shoot. Now for the product photo shoot, we need to be able to visualize a vacuum cleaner in different settings. The first thing that we need to do is have a wider background for the product. To generate a suitable background, let's head to the home page of ClipDrop and from the top right side, let's head to the tools list and from the tools, let's select uncrop. Let's upload the image of the vacuum cleaner design that we like the most. Now, you can set the reference frame as per your required background length. The image generation in this case might take some time, but once your image is ready, you can go ahead and check all the generated options and download the one that you find most suitable. You can follow this step a couple of times if you're not satisfied with your results. Once satisfied, make sure you download that version too. With this outpainting feature, you can work on establishing the size of background that you want. Next, we want to pitch our product to the customers. We should 
work on creating some backgrounds that people can relate with. For this, we need to generate some relatable backgrounds. But replacing the background is only possible the paid version of ClipDrop. But well, we have other tools in our armor of image generative AI tools. So next, let's head to Adobe Firefly. And from the home page, click on Generative Fill, upload the image for which you wish to recreate the background. Now, click on Background and the entire background will be selected. But if the entire background is not selected, you can click on Remove, select appropriate brush settings and manually remove the background. Once you're happy with your selection, you can go ahead and enter the prompt regarding the background that you wish to see. For now, in the prompt section, I'm going to enter the prompt, a modern living room with ample lights and neutral colors. As you can see, Firefly quickly generates a suitable background behind a vacuum cleaner. You can choose the design that you like and click on Keep. Once you're happy with your selection, you can download it. Finally, we're done with our second task. Next, let's quickly head to our third task, which was to create some images and illustrations that would help us in making the presentation for the launch of a vacuum cleaner. For our presentation, we will need the following images. First, the product image selected by you. Second, a logo image for our product, that is clean kit. Third, your product in a different setting showing its versatility. The setting could be a car, sofa, and bed. Fourth, an image with various parts of the product. Here, it can be brushes for the vacuum cleaner. So let's go ahead and create these images one by one. To do this, let's again head back to ClipDrop. From the Tools section, let's go to Stable Diffusion Excel. Since we have already created our product image before, we will start with designing our second image, which is to create a logo for our product. For custom designing our logo, let's go ahead and sketch our idea on Stable Doodle. Well, I am sketching a Pac-Man shaped vacuum cleaner and in the text box, I'm going to enter the description, a small, Pac-Man shaped vacuum cleaner with a pipe and a nozzle attached to it, digital art and click on generate. You can check all the generated designs one by one and select the design that you find most suitable. I like this one, hence I'm going to download it. You please make sure to download whichever version that you're going with. Now, for our third image, our goal was to display our product in different settings. To do this, let's imagine a vacuum cleaner near a sofa. For this, we'll need to change the background of our existing image. Let's again head back to Adobe Firefly and in the Generative Fill option, let's upload the image that we had just generated using Firefly only. Remember this image that we had created imagining our 
vacuum cleaner in a modern living room setting? Well, we'll use the same one. Now, we'll replace this background with something else. For that, click on background. Now, let's enter the prompt. Let's enter the prompt, a double bed next to the vacuum cleaner, realistic, detailed, clear design. All the four options look equally amazing. You can choose the one that you like the most and download it. Next, repeat the above steps for other scenarios that you can imagine, that is, around a car, in your background, in your garage, and so on. You might have to make a few edits, but once those are done, you can download the image. Now, for our fourth and last image for our presentation, let's generate the images for vacuum cleaner parts. To do this, let's again go back to ClipDrop, and on the home page, let's go to Tools, head to Stable Diffusion Excel, and in the prompt section, enter the prompt, different brushes of a pink vacuum cleaner placed on a gray background, hyper-realistic HD photorealism. Here, you can enter the color of the vacuum cleaner that you are working with. Since I am working with a pink colored vacuum cleaner, I have added about the same. You can go ahead and enter the prompt, different brushes, of a pink vacuum cleaner placed on gray background. Well, I found this option to be the most suitable. You can choose the option that you find the most suitable, make few edits to it if required, but if not, you can go ahead and download it. With this, we are done with our third task. And now we can head to our final task. We need to create a banner for a full page newspaper advertisement. Here, we have to carefully choose the aspect ratio. The standard aspect ratio of a full page newspaper ad is approximately 3 is to 2. We'll have to be mindful of this. Here, we'll use one tool that helped us create the burger banner. Remember Microsoft Designer? You can take a quick look into Lesson 3 Part 2 to recall how it works or just follow along as I do. Let's head to Microsoft Designer. And add the image of the vacuum cleaner that you wish to use for your banner. In the text box, enter the prompt, a newspaper advertisement banner that says Clean Kit Vacuuming Made Easy. Out of the generated options, on the right hand side, choose the option that you like the most, click on it and click on Customize Design. Right at the top, in the middle of the screen, right where your project name is mentioned, click on it, click on Resize, click on Show All. From the list of these options, choose the size that best suits your requirement. For our banner, I'll select the size A5 Portrait as its aspect ratio closely matches with the required aspect ratio. Click on continue, click on resize and replace. And your banner is generated in the suitable size. Now you can use this banner directly or make edits to it. Once you're happy with all the changes, 
you can go ahead and download this banner.